I'm all for that, especially when you work this shift. If you want to watch the game and have a good time, you probably have to take the next day off because, yeah, our bedtime is right probably around half time. All right, 6.47 is the time on your Friday morning. I'm going to scoot out of the way so you can see what's happening outside. Live look left side of your screen from downtown San Diego and right side is Laguna Mountain Lodge. I just cannot get enough of this sky cam. Just take a look at all that snowpack, an indication of just how much snow was acquired over the past several days in our local mountains. Quite impressive, but I know it will be a very popular spot this weekend. As we go ahead and zoom on into our five radar sweeps, they're doing a really nice job highlighting where we're seeing most of the shower activity. Fairly light, but a little heavy starting to pick up in Rancho Santa Fe and right along the Golden Triangle just south of Del Mar uh, near Claremont. In the South Bay, we are trending mostly dry, but uh, we have some light showers now spanning right along the 125 in that East Lake Otay Ranch area as you make your way northbound towards the 54 on ramp as we go to zoom on out again this is the last of the parade of storms that's kept san diego saturated over the past several days our day planner is uh, showcased here. Valley rain, mountain snow will be widespread throughout the morning. This afternoon, though, most of those showers become confined inland towards the valleys. Tonight, showers continue and it will be another brisk evening. So if you have any outdoor plans, just make sure that you are layering up because we will plummet down back to the 40s and 30s in some spots. Here's a quick look at the seven day chance of rain. Notice how it's pretty high today, but it plummets this weekend down to about nine and then it's slim to none beginning on Sunday. So we are pretty free and clear of any rain looking ahead to next week. Coastal areas will slowly climb back into the 60s this weekend. It will still be cool though and well below seasonal. It will be very cool too for a lot of our inland areas will be mostly in the 50s, but take a look at that Super Bowl forecast. Sure, we'll start off cold, but we'll see those temperatures rise about 20, 30 degrees by the afternoon. Uh, so make sure that if you're wearing those jerseys to layer up. Overall, it will be a mild day. And then looking ahead to the evening hours, hours around 8, 9 p.m., those temperatures will plummet back down. Overnight lows will remain very cool. So because we're going to have those clearer conditions during the day, temperatures are going to plummet at night, especially this weekend. We'll be really breezy in the mountains. And as I mentioned, we're continuing to see shower activity by this evening. We'll likely get an additional one to three inches for those elevations that sit at 4,000 feet and higher. And then this weekend, those snow levels will soar again uh, because we're going to look at much warmer conditions and we won't have any more mu as much nearly as much uh, precipitation in the atmosphere, moisture in the atmosphere for the desert areas. We're not as windy as yesterday, but we'll still have periods of really strong winds targeting the passes, foothill and mountain areas anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. And we'll be really breezy along the coast and valley. So despite temperatures uh, hovering in the 50s and 60s this afternoon, you factor in the winds. You're looking at temperatures feeling a lot cooler on the skin. So just make sure you're keeping that in mind and dress in layers if you have any outdoor plans throughout today. Mel. Well, don't expect to see the same old song and dance.